<clears throat> what is going on everyone out there in the world of the internet? Thank you for tuning into my channel. I wanted to uh, give you an update on a recent poll that I ran in the past two days asking the wide world of those who follow me on Twitter, what app should I make in the month of September? Uh, I have time in September to actually work on an application and I was very torn between whether to make a Reason ML application or a React Native application. And uh, much to my uh, delight and concern, uh, it got a lot of attention out in the uh, Twitter sphere where people were actually very invested in which application I would actually be spending my free time to create. And after a hundred and ninety votes, the most poll votes I've ever gotten in my life, the people have spoken and I will be making a React Native application in the month of September. And I'm hoping to bring you along with me on this journey, give you updates along the way on me trying to create this React Native application. I've made a React Native application in the past, so to challenge myself a little bit, I'm actually going to be trying to make this React Native application with TypeScript, a tool that I have never actually used before uh, in my life. Uh, so that's gonna be a little bit fun and exciting. Uh, it's going to be open source, and, and with this video, actually, I'm, you're going to see me actually make the open source repo because why not have everything be completely transparent and let you have a lens into my process on how I do things. So this is going to be kind of a live coding video, me showing you what I actually go about when I'm actually making a new project. But to start things off with, let me actually explain to you what application I'm going to be building. So uh, I'm a big fan of... Uh, documenting a lot of things in my life, hence this camera right here and you watching it right now. And there's this app that I've been using for the past, gosh, I think it's been four years or so, where it's a picture every day app, where you take a picture of yourself and then you can actually make a video of your face every day and have a time lapse of that video. And it was great. I use it for my son, use it for myself, you can use it for anything you want. And I've been using this app for a while. It's called uh, can you see this, the, the uh, everyday, uh, focus that, the everyday app right there. So it, it's fine, it works. I have all my uh, pic, uh, selfies on here. You can hit that, but uh, you can see my face changing over time. So I wanna make this app in React Native. And the main reason why I wanna build this app, well, there's two main reasons. One, uh, this app kinda seems to be uh, not maintained anymore. It doesn't really seem that the uh, developers are working on it anymore. It's kind of done unofficially. And that would be fine and all if it was working. However, there's this weird bug where when I actually open the um, camera, and you see how the uh, volume flashes up? That's, uh, that's a weird bug that seemed to start when I got the iPhone 10, where just randomly when I open up the camera, it'll change my volume. So that's kind of, uh, that's, that's kind of messed up. I don't really want to have to have my volume be changed. I'm just trying to take a selfie of myself. So, uh, I want to make this app with React Native and not have that bug anymore. So that's the app that we're going to make in the month of September. I'm going to try to make it locally as possible first because that'll be the easiest way to actually make this application. And then we can try to add more features on top of it. If you're feeling kind of feisty, you can open up a PR and add to this. But if I can actually get this into a state where I can submit it to the app store by the end of September, I would consider this entire experiment a amazing success. So I have to go with a very lean MVP approach to figure out the small feature set of things that I want to do. Uh, I'll try to do some of that stuff offline and kind of present to you my thinkings, but uh, I'm not sure how regular these videos are going to be. It's going to be like as I have time, but the focus is going to be making the app and then this will be kind of the fun along the way. So uh, let's, let's start talking about what it comes, what, what's involved with making a React Native app. You have the React Native website and it has a nice little getting started guide about how to actually get up and going. However, there's this other tool out in the ecosystem called Expo. The easiest way to explain what Expo is, is it's pretty much Ruby on Rails for React Native. And what that means is that they kind of have a lot of batteries included features for a React Native, that, for a React Native application that you would need when actually making a React Native app. Uh, React Native is a framework, just like React is. So if you were to say that you were gonna make a React app it require a lot of your own plumbing and tooling to actually get that off the ground. You have to bring in Redux, bring in a router, all those things. Uh, to get a faster head start, you say I'm gonna use React, 
with Bootstrap and just by, or like the React, the React version of Bootstrap. And by default, that gets you off and running with so many things you don't have to even worry about yourself. And that's kind of similar to what Expo does. It has a love and has so many features that you can actually uh, have included by default. You can see on this page they have uh, social authentication, so you kind of log in with our Facebook, Twitter, uh, better APIs for using the camera, image picker, push notifications, just a lot of more richer components made for you by default that you can use and not have to worry about making yourself. And me, as a very small, lone developer, definitely want to take advantage of these already built things. If I was on a team at work, building things up from the ground, from the ground up, I would probably just go with the basic create React Native app uh, boilerplate because that gives me the most control over my application. But in this case, I just want to be quick and dirty as possible. Just get this thing done and out the door. Uh, so let's actually think about what we actually do over here. You know, I can, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I already have Node downloaded. Let's see over here. I have Node latest version, I just upgraded today. Uh, it says I have to get the command line tool. I've already upgraded the command line tool. I actually bumped this up a little bit. So for those who are viewing this on a computer, I can actually see these things. And then I'm gonna actually make a new project. So a new expo init. And what should this be named? <laughs> That's gonna be the hardest thing. It's a selfie a day. It's with React Native. Um, I, guess we'll call, uh, I guess we'll call it React every day for now. Uh, because I don't really have a better idea and we can always come up with another one later. So let's, let's in, in a new Expo application. It's gonna make a new folder. The blank project template includes the known dependencies uh, or I can have a tab project that includes several example screens. Actually, I'm going to have just it be a blank project and then we can kind of build up from there. Let's things to actually learn along the way. So we'll just do a blank and let's see if I can cut to the end of this right about. Sweet. So this is done. So I can now CD into React every day. And let's actually uh, open up a little nice VS Code file for myself here. And here we have the base repo, and it was actually very kind to actually make a repo for me. So actually, I don't really need this anymore. Uh, what should I do? I'm gonna get status, see what I have in here. Let's actually do an initial commit that says init commit. We have started things. This is my pristine state. Oh yeah, I just gotta add everything. Get commit, cool. We got everything added, everything's looking good. And the first thing I always like to do when I'm making an application is prove to myself that it works. <laughs> So let's actually do that. So it's saying I can CDN and I can say expo start. I uh, usually they have an alias in here, so I can actually do npm start if I wanted to as well. So let's do that. Let's do npm start. And it's going. I can talk to you about how your day was. My day was hot, 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 hot. This Manhattan heat. What the hell is going on? Metro Bundler is their version of Webpack. The tunnel is ready. This is pretty. This is very pretty. With Expo, what's also great is that they actually have a pre-built application for iPhone and Android. So by default, if you're making a vanilla React Native application and you actually wanted to test it out on your phone, you'd actually have to run a command to actually build the native version of that code, hence the React Native part of React Native. So for iOS, that means going to Xcode or running the Xcode command line tools to actually build the, I, the actual uh, iOS application. With Expo, they actually have a pre-built application that lets you just get up and running, and kind of it's kind of like a sandbox that you can run applications within. I already signed in the Expo app, and it will automatically appear in the Projects tab, and it does indeed. I don't know if you can see that right here. If I can log in, open Project, and there it is. Well, it's, bu it's building the bundle, that's why you can't see anything. It's building it. Can't really see it down there. I'm still waiting for it to build. Sweet, it's working. Uh, you can't really see this. Let me, let me bring it up on the uh, simulator. So I guess it says press I for either iOS simulator. So I'll say I. Trying to open the project on the iOS simulator. I just try to open. Oh, there it goes. The simulator. The simulator. The simulator. Oh, this is gonna take a while. Oh man, this takes so long. Here we 
we go. It's installing Expo. Can I see that? There it is, the Expo app. Can I just open it? Nope, still going. It's opening. Yes, open. Woohoo! Woohoo! Welcome to Expo. Got it. Got it. Uh, press D to show this. Got it. So this is the debugger. Got it. Cool. Open AppJS to start working on your app. So let's move this over here. Or actually, let's move this over here. Move this. Where's my editor? Move this over here. Bring this back up there. Bueno Vici. Bueno Vici. Oh, I can go to AppJS. Let's bump it up, bump the jam when my feet are stomping. And now I can say, react every day. Save that, it refreshes, bam, we are cooking with fire. Let's actually uh, have this here, react every day. And let's actually go into my GitHub page to just get that going. Cause uh, let's, why not code in public? So we have, here a new project we're gonna call it react every day for now as well uh if we want to rename it later we can it's not a big deal uh this is a description leave that for it empty create a repo bam it's there it's an existing repository i have locally let's actually go in here and i can say oh dear that's what i can say i can say oh dear let's enhance so i can say let's paste that in to add GitHub as the remote repository, and then let's actually push our changes up there. This is the init commit. Right, because I have to log in. Let's get push you origin master. Bam, it's there. Bam, it's there. Oh, let's make a readme. It's always something we know have a readme. Let's go here, readme. Let's do uh, touch readme.md. Uh, where's my readme? There it is. Say, react every day. I'm trying to make an app for the month of September. I'm also going to try to video log it along the way. Please wish me all the luck. Hearts. <laughs> Close it automatically for you. Cool. Let's add that. Get add readme. Say, get commit. Let's say, sure. Add readme, push that. Bam, it's there. Fresh this. Bam, react every day. That was the introduction video. Getting started with a very simple React Native application with Expo. Stay tuned for more to come. If you're not already a subscriber, become a subscriber to watch more of these videos. Me trying to figure out what is code. I know a little bit about code, but I'm trying to learn more about what is code, but subscribe and follow along with me in this adventure of actually making a React Native, React Native application in one month. I am probably definitely bitten up more than I could chew. Bye.